can do. Okay. Christmas we get look. This is how I got it. Everybody else is going. I'm gonna start with some Ole foundation. You just need a little bit to do your whole face. Be sure to do your neck because you don't want a clown look on your face. One thing I was always taught, you never want a ring around your face, so you go all the way up to your hairline and up your neck with it, you know, and behind your ears a little bit to make sure you don't have a ring around your face that looks totally retarded like a clown, unless you're doing a clown look. You don't want the ring around your face. That's just disgusting. Okay, that's that. Okay, I'm going to get this. I don't even know the name of this makeup. I truly don't. It's um, Mark something. I have no clue. <laughs> Distributed by. Whatever that is, I have no clue. Hope you can read it, because I can't even make it out. Okay. You all use what you use. This is Redneck Style. This is a brand new paintbrush. I haven't used it. I just take this color and this color, the two lighter colors, starters, and just brush it on here. Here and the forehead and down the middle of my nose there. Okay, that's for the redneck paintbrush. You can take this other paintbrush and go into this creamier color powder shit. I hate it. And just lighten this shit up. Great dash. And the eyes. And there's no yeah, makeup on my eyes at all right now. But this, this is under coat stuff. It's really not as easy as I make it look, but I've done it for so long, it don't take me forever. Okay, after you do that, you see the contouring and all that's already there. I mean, it's that quick. Then you take this lighter color. With the same paintbrush. It's kind of a paint cut because I like to paint paintings too, you know, in my walls and whatever. Well, we got like this yellowish and this color. I don't see my white. I think I'm out of white because I use a lot of white. So we're just going to use this color and go over top the eyelids and done. And in the corner of your eyeball, with this. And underneath here, make a little line thing here, and the chin and gun, of course, and the neck. Okay, so there's that. And then, you're going to get a different little paintbrush, which is a different one, see? Tell the difference. And it's kind of warped. <laughs> And I'm going to use green. Come on, if I can get these open. These are like switchable things that go in my little makeup thing over there. I'm not using a mirror, I'm just using my computer hammer. So we're going to use this real, real light green. Just brush it on like so. I don't know if you can really see it because it's really light green. Here it goes. It looks more like a yellow when you put it on. Yeah, it's showing up better. Some more on my brush. I kind of want this darker green. Come near you. Get on there. It doesn't want to go on there. And you want to put it all the way up to your brow bone. Which my eyebrows are just like perfectly shaped right there. 
Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Maybe a little different. Okay, you knew that already. favorite eyeliner pencil. I'm going to sharpen it. It's like a huge, I like these huge ones. I don't know why, I just like flat eyeliners. Yeah, sharpen it up. I don't want to over sharpen it, it would break off. And you go right above your eyelash line and this in the creases or however I like to do this way and it looks a little sloppy but it's just how I do it and you go underneath the eyelashes okay do you want to make it under the eyelashes I always do this a little bit more there. This is like a subtle look. But it's not outlandish. This is a subtle look for me anyway. <laughs> and do it underneath the eyelash. So it's under the eyelashes and above them. And I always mess up right here. So I do wear glasses and it's hard for me to see right there. Like I said, I'm not using a mirror, I'm only using the camera on my computer. Anyway, I have the darkness light in this one. Yeah. And if you want, you can do these lines. I usually do these lines. I like these lines. We're gonna do the leaves. But um these are leaves, so there. Let's bring them down, out, however. There. I'm done this for so long, it's nothing you can even make. Another thing I want, I think I want to, I want to color my leaves in. So I need my little paintbrush again. Let's go to my floor. And I'm not sitting in a chair, I'm on the floor, so kneeling, kind of. And I want to color my leaves in. So, it's like, yeah. So, I want this glitter green. There it is. And to go in here and just color my leaves in a little bit. Yeah, pop them a little bit. You just use the eyeshadow, works fine. Unless you want to get some other paint, go for it. I don't. I just use what I have right now, which ain't much. Do you want to touch this up again? Definitely gotta to touch that up again. Oh, I hate this powder stuff. I like the liquid eyeshadows better because you can just paint them on, you know, just real quick. But I am using powders. So, and these little palette crappy square things. Okay, there's that. And then I love this blue. Make my brush a little bit. And I've got this. Yeah. I've got this blue. Come on, be good. But this is the thing all these makeup's going. The little makeup kit comes together. And I want to do some of the blue into the leaves here. Yeah. And kind of like that. Come on. Be good. Does it only cooperate? This is darker up here. Yeah, cooperate. <laughs> cooperate. 
This is blue. It is a dark blue. But, um, in this light, up right here. Yeah, right there. But in this light, it's not looking as dark. Okay. And we just want it the darker on the top, not the bottom. Usually, you put the darker on the bottom. But since I have a black eyeliner on, I want it darker on the top. Make sure my leaves are popped in there. And then I have this purple. This is so messy to this powder. Okay, and we're going to just add some purple to it. Right in here. I don't know where my white is. I have white somewhere. <laughs> so I can't find it. So we're just going to do purple. I'm going to take some more eye purple, and underneath the eyeliner, I'm just going to add some purple. I'm going to do this in a short amount of time. I'm just going to go on and around this, so you want it all to pop out. Okay, there's that. That. The hardest part for me is the eyes. Oh, my hair. <laughs> I have it all up and I have this part. I've had it shaved underneath and it's starting to grow out so it looks like a little chunky. So I just pull it all up. My little bun. And this is purple and um, this comes out and it looks like a pinkish color, reddish color. But the darker purples are in the back. See how pretty. And that was all this dark purple. But after you wash it for a month or so, you know, wash it every day or every two days. I do mine every two days because the color does come out quick. And it's permanent hair dye now. So. Oh god. Now after the lipstick, I was going to do something a little different than what I usually do. I have to dig it out of my purse. Or any of this like down in this pocket. Okay. So, yeah. Hey, there's the one I want. I want different colors. So, I want it to pop. I love this color pink. But I also like bright purple, which I haven't been able to find yet. The one I want, anyway. Um, this stays on all day. This one does. The other doesn't. So that's um not all the way done. But anyway, get the idea. Pink. And the side. Uh, is a purple. And this does not dry like it's supposed to. Because it is a uh, number 10, See, it's called Super Stay. It does not stay at all. Never get something that says Super Stay. It does not stay. And I'm half and halfing it. It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, a little crazy, huh? But this is called Super Stay, and it's by, what is it by? Super Stay, number nine. 
by Maybelline. Never get Maybelline Super Stay Makeup. They don't stay at all. And then I have this one. Blush. <laughs> they look crazy, right? This is my blush. Back to my redneck brush. I, mean, I used all my makeup brushes for painting, so I'm using my paint brushes for makeup. It was the blush, so of course you want to bring it down to you. You kind of make your blush like a little highlighter thing. Even not the skin tone. But anyway. I don't like the eyes like green and that gold look. The blue very colored in my leave pretty good, right? Cute. Okay. I'm going to take this other paintbrush. I'm going to add some pink to my eyes too. I better have purple, like a bright purple and not a dark purple. But since it just wants to be a pain in the butt, I'm just going to do the crease line of the eyelid in a pink. Always pink blush. You just put it right in the middle where a lot of people put more eyeliner. Um, I use shadows and stuff. Bring it all the way down. This eye is messed up because it has surgery on it. So it's just different. I don't know. But it's not showing up as good as I wanted it. You know what? Fingers work better. I want it right in here. See? And it just blends in with the purple and the gold and the green. So it's like a yellowish green and the gold. And I want some reddish. I don't have red. So I am playing pink. And this is a subtle. And my blush is not what I like it. So, use your finger. And push it on your right. You want apple cheeks. I use my lipstick for blush too. But I'm not a lipstick. I'm like pretty, so. Oh, that color. And it's one of my favorite colors. I only have specific colors. Don't like the apple cheeks. Yeah, you can get different. I like the apple cheeks. This is me. Um, okay. What, Mimi? What? You said you made a song or you want out? Huh? I'll let you out in a minute. You got a litter pan in there. Use that. And I would need empty because you never use it. You just run out the door. I don't know why you even have a litter pan. I'm waiting for my finish. I'll wear a pencil, but I can't see this in it. Got a teeny tiny real thin eyeliner pencil. So I can't find it. This is empty. No, this is fine. I'm going to take some silver and I'll color my eyebrows in lightly. I'm not dramatic on my eyebrows. I don't like coloring them in, but people always like eyebrow looks. So, there. An eyebrow. <laughs> And this is just my brow bone actually because I shaved mine off. 
I'm going to do some light eyebrows. Yeah, some silver and not black. So I don't want an over dramatic look right now. Yeah, I got that too thick. Yeah, and this is waterproof. So it's very hard to get off. But anyway. Using a wood through this, but like I said, I'm not using a mirror. And when you don't use a mirror, you can't wood through it as quick. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's that. And you can do her up, down, or whatever you want. But I'm gonna put mine down. See the purple? Oh, it's so cute. Meow. I'm gonna let my cat out.